hello students how are you so uh, in this video students we will see revision worksheet here students we will see revision worksheet for periodic test 2 in section a fill in the blanks are there 600 centimeter is 6 meter vitamin k helps in clotting of blood the process of separating a liquid from solid sediment is called decantation Eating too much of fat rich foods may lead to condition called obesity. The method in which stocks are between to free the grains is uh, grain seeds is called threshing. So five mark, uh, one one mark for each. Fill in the blank. You have to write correct question number and answer only. In uh, question second, match the following over here. One important notice and um, instruction for you: don't match over there only okay you have to write um, second in roman number write six, question number six and what is its option now potable water potable water means what a pure form of water so question number six potable water in front of that you have to write uh, option d pure form of water like this so in front of that you will write the answer uh, question 6 you can write B, uh, D pure form of water sun sun is uh, luminous body so uh, 7 answer E luminous body shadow shadow obtained only on screen so uh, 8 answer is A obtained on screen 9 sugar sugars is soluble in water so option B is right and write soluble in water and 10 question vitamin b1 causes beriberi so write uh, 10 question and write c option beriberi in this way you have to write option don't match it over there question 3 is multiple choice question five questions will come one for each mark and oily patch on paper shows that food items contain fat so b option is right too you have to write uh, 3 in roman number then write 11 and in front of that write b option fat write option as well as answer here option is b and answer is fat so write b fat like this question number 12 which is correct relationship though all collect uh, all relationships are correct so d option is right so all of the above in this way question 13 when an object comes in the path of light it forms shadow so b option is right shadow and a motion in which body moves along a curved path is called circular or rotational motion 15 rise in water level of river leads to flood so b option is right so in this way you have to write the answers now give one word for the following section b so only you have to write answer only in one word over here you should not waste your time don't waste your time in writing questions write four uh, uh, in roman number give one word for following and write question number 16 answer is filtration only that much is sufficient um, 17 with the nutrient that are needed for growth and maintenance of our body that are protein so write only protein answer uh, write question number properly and write answer any material through which light uh, energy pass wholly is called transparent object name the type of motion in which body moves along a curved path that is circular or rotational motion a process in which water from wa uh, wet clothes disappear that process is called evaporation name two so, uh, solutions required to detect the presence of protein in a food so two solutions are copper sulfate and caustic soda solution name two translucent object you can write any two translucent translucent object uh, name the process that is used to separate fine sand particles from a mixture of sand sieving method so in this way you have to write answer in only one word now question fifth very short answer name the nutrient which mainly give energy to our body that is carbohydrate explain the term shadow now here if term or definition uh, or explain the term uh, such type of questions are coming you have to write perfect de definition okay so uh, definition should be like a textual language only answer you can write by your own words but definition should be according to a textbook or textual language a shadow is a dark outline or image cast by an object a opaque object that blocks light coming from a source of light so these all answers carry one one mark depending upon the question you have to write the question 
So threshing the process of beating harvested crop to separate the grains from the stalk it's called threshing. Uh, if you want to dry our uh, uniform quickly so uh, uh, so you you can spread that uniform um, or uh, near the angiti or heater it will help to increase the rate of evaporation because of heat. So write the function of water in a body. So water uh, function you have to write that uh, uh, it helps to remove the waste uh, from body in the form of urine and uh, sweat. And um, um, these are the functions of water. Then pace of food stock, uh, food step is not used uh, as a standard unit of length because everyone's foot step is not equal, and uh, every one person measurement may vary uh, of uh, food steps. That's why it is not a standard unit of length in this way you have to ask, write answers which type of flood uh, food is uh, called bodybuilding food so you know it very well that proteins are called bodybuilding food the uh, how will you separate a husk and dirt particles from a given sample of pulses before cooking so uh, we can uh, the husk and dirt particles are very light in weight so by winnowing method we can separate that uh, from the grains okay so uh, or pulses uh, because they are light then section b a short answer type question means uh, three mark question will come here uh, numerical problems are there over here uh, uh, what is given means uh, solution operation and answer this is the method uh, to solve the numerical problems in science so what is given the reading at starting end reading at the last end and the length of the table we have to measure so uh, the length of the object is uh, reading at the other end minus reading at the starting end. So st uh, at the last end the reading is 21.5 and the first end reading is 2.0. So we have to subtract that you will get the answer 19.5 centimeter. In this way in brief you have to write the answer. Many students are just writing a last answer that is 19.5 centimeter so you will be getting only half mark for that if you will solve step by step then you will then you will get the full marks if the answer is right and formula is right understood write the difference between the shadow and the images so whatever the proper differences are there according to question you have to write the differences so if two points are asked you have to write two points if three points are asked you have to write three points so image and shadow you have to write the difference that uh, image is formed when the light rays are reflected from a mirror or any shining object and the shadow is formed when the path of light rays gets uh, obstructed by an opaque body so in this way you have to write the differentiate now here uh, in 34 question explain different type of motion write one example of each here in the question is for three marks so write definition as well as example also many students are writing either definition they are not writing uh, examples many students are writing example they are not writing the definition according to question asked you have to write the perfect answer so any three uh, types of motion you can write for three marks and three examples means half for definition half for example so half multiplied by six is equal to three marks so, uh, students in section B you will be getting internal choice so over there uh, it's a suggestion from my side that whatever the answer you are knowing very perfect you can write that answer first okay and after solving the section C also question number 35 and 36 if you are getting time then you can move forward towards the optional questions otherwise uh, you can write the answers whichever you know very well so uh, in question number uh, uh, section C long answer type question explain water cycle with the help of diagram. So you have to explain uh, all steps in the water cycle that is evaporation, condensation, precipitation, surface runoff all this you have to explain transpiration also. So you have to explain all these things for 5 marks and then afterwards diagram while drawing diagram children it's a kind request you have to label it very properly drawing diagram is also a skill in science you have to write very perfect diagram and you have to label it properly this is a cycle of uh, this is a water cycle so you have to see the labels condensation evaporation precipitation all this surface runoff all this uh, infiltration so this label should include in your diagram so we have discussed that uh, uh, how to draw diagram 
so diagram should be very perfect okay but don't waste too much of time you have to manage you have to practice it how to draw diagram so try to uh, draw diagrams at home whichever given in your notes or in your textbooks in your worksheets now list various types of nutrients and write the function of each now the various types of nutrients are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals so you have to explain it properly because it is for five months so carbohydrates they are mainly uh, energy providing nutrients they pro uh, fats provide energy to our body uh, they give much more energy than carbohydrates if consumed in same amount so proteins they are called bodybuilding foods uh, help it helps in the formation of repair body uh, parts skin hair muscles enzymes are made of proteins so vitamins uh, help in protecting our body against diseases they also protect eyes bones teeth and gums minerals minerals are essential for growth of body and to maintain good health you have to understand each and every type of nutrient function of its it test for that uh, uh, starch test for protein test for fats then um, afterwards uh, you have to uh, practice for the diagrams you have to read lessons very carefully after that uh, solving question number 36 if you are getting time then you can move forward towards question number optional questions in section c 33 34 35 over there if you are having internal choice so first you will write compulsory questions and then after writing 36 question if you are getting time then move towards the optional questions otherwise don't waste time in writing uh, optional questions also in the beginning means 33 34 35 write compulsory questions and uh, then come towards section c that is uh, 35 and 36 after you can move towards the optional questions after writing your uh, before starting your paper you have to write your name standard division subject on your um, notebook periodic test notebook those who have not took still they um, uh, the books are in school you have to take away that books for periodic test too you will be writing periodic test 2 in your notebooks whichever uh, in which book where uh, you have written the periodic test 1 so thank you for watching the video and please start study read all lessons carefully solve worksheets so, so try to solve revision worksheets um, by uh, uh, setting a time means you have to set a time and then you have to start writing then you will come to know uh, from uh, means uh, over uh, which part i am lacking uh, which uh, question i will be not able to solve properly so like this you can evaluate yourself you can come to know your difficulties your lacking points and uh, during examination you will not face difficulties you will overcome from that all these uh, difficulties by uh, doing practice so thank you for watching video Students, I, after writing paper, you have to upload your question, uh, answer paper. Do proper scanning of each and every page. Then make a single PDF file and then send it in Google Classroom through Classwork section only. If you will send through Streamwork, we will not be able to check your paper. Okay. So, please start doing studies. Concentrate and focus on your studies. Best of luck for your examination for all subjects. Thank you.